somewhere cold. And I'm going to see if I can find my favorite Uber driver. He says he's here. Oh, and I think I see him. Oh yeah, that's definitely my Uber. Guess where I am. Hey, Uber. Got that HKS jacket. Oh, on. yeah, what's up? <laughs> 34 degree chip. Look at that. Look at that. Decent. Hey. We're here. This is it. I'm here finally. This is it. The first Pe shop. People have been hounding me to come to Connecticut <laughs> for years, and oh. I'm finally here. And, uh,. I'll tell you, I'm taking it all in right now, so I haven't really. Jack's much. pointing out fucking trees and mailboxes and shit. Ask me how. <laughs> ask me. Ask me how this place is. How is it? Old. It's old. It's really old. It's old. That's my takeaway so far. So Connecticut, this part of Connecticut is old. Hello. And I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to take in as much of it as possible. So, cool. I'm gonna go see what's going on in here. Let's go. So you walk into the joint. The first thing you see is this HKS Grom, you know something's got to give. There, there's going to be a lot of HKS stuff in here when you first walk in here. I'd offer you a breezy. Second thing you see when you walk in here is this guy with an HKS cup. So we don't throw away cups. Yeah. So a lot of HKS stuff in here. A whole, a knockoff HKS Grom <laughs> and a tumbler. <laughs> I got a knockoff HKS jet ski. Yeah, I mean, and, and the car. Hey, I mean, I don't know. Car's got <laughs> a, little, a lot of HK little, stuff. It's just a little knockoff. You off. earned it, but it's not. Even. You know, you know. Hey, I try. So anyway, show me around the place. All right, I'll give you the we, quick tour. Okay, so just a few things. So the HKS stuff begins here. here, goes to here. So I'm just and then really, <laughs> really fills in. Over, <laughs> you know, in this region, crazy. This is pretty much their whole. I would say we have every RB part. Uh, a lot of inventory right like here's an hks silent high power for a 34 here's a high power for a 33 we have a super turbo somewhere in all this oil cooler what do we got there How, uh intercooler pipe kit intercooler pipe kit i hate to say this but you got me beat man you got me <laughs> beat that was not the intention uh, you got a lot of stuff intercoolers four intercoolers jesus all these down pipes and then these are the crank pulley kits crank pulley kit there's a lot of shit. Anyway, lots of HKS a lot stuff. Of RBs. We're definitely not disappointing there. RBs everywhere, as you can see. Typical stuff. Walking out into the shop, though. Woohoo! HKS high response. Look at that. Step two. Yeah. That's good Dismal stuff. Dismal fine spec. Actually, HKS 2.8 with v That's 2 v That's so sick. Parts. Look at it. He's got stuff. All these. This is my pride and joy. This is fun. This, all these brand new looking. Yeah. Because they're not brand new, but no. they look brand new. They Paper might as well plastic, be brand new. Powder coated. These are just 32, 33 control arms. He, so, so they do this stuff all in house. Everything. So these parts are all janky, like like shitty, rusty looking parts that come off of cars, and then they just completely redo everything. I mean, if you've seen an, a front diff cover from an RB, you know I've never seen one. That actually shows the original and then, color. And then we zinc the, the, the drain the fill drain. or whatever. Yeah. Still, lots of stuff. So the machine that they use to do this, though, is a big giant. The vapor blast. Yeah. Super yeah, cool. Technologies gave us, we're, it's kind of a mess because we've been, we've, you and I pretty much ruined it. Usually, every single time you see this, this shop on video, there's cars here. And we're going to show you why they're not we'll in here today. They <laughs> we're going to show you where they went. They're all outside right now. It's all um, outside oil pans and... Yeah, this is the powder coat shelf. This is the big this machine. The this thing is huge. It's a big. It's a big and a lot of stuff going on. It's got wipers and LEDs. Parts getting clean. So that's yeah. So that's how that that goes. Got a paint booth even in here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. There's a car in it. You got a paint booth. That's pretty important. It's, it is, especially All for we what do you're is doing. Paint things and clean them. So we need a paint booth. Look at this, guys. This is a one. GTR. This is a one-stop shop. This is my favorite. This car was 732 black. I don't really love 732 black, so we're repainting it KH3, which is like the 33 S15, just black. But not just painting it. I mean, like everything. Oh yeah, like this. Look is... at that. I mean, we're talking every single little hole. Everything's taped off. 
This is good stuff. Yeah. This is like a clean room, you know? It's been uh, undercoated <clears throat> in the rear, like with the same stuff we do in the... Like if we drop the tank and stuff, we just undercoat them. So yeah, this is that. all the undercoating. It looks... Uh, it looks good. It looks, looks good. Looks and this can get black overspray, you know, yeah. at the factory. Sure. We rolled the, the fenders. That, the factory ones have overspray. Yeah. We rolled the fenders pre-paint, like tight. Yeah. That's key. Super nice. Yep. Yep, yep. God. That's a lot of work. Crazy lot of work. Yeah, let's go check the cars out now. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome out. Welcome to the got outdoors. Get the jacket on because it's brick. You got that HKS jacket. That's right. I got one too. Mm, mm. Yep. Good stuff. I mean, like skylines for miles, of course. Of course. Of course. So this one was cool. This car was gnarly. 2.8. So these fifty one R. These are the cars that were inside. The other thing that's funny is everyone's like, same cars are there. In a weird scheme to make money, Nissan made more than one of the same car in the same color. <laughs> yeah. So like we've had four AH three cars. Yeah. Which which are rare to begin they with. They are rare. We've had yeah. only two TH one. No, three TH one. <laughs> so this car came with a six speed. It came to the shop. Thirty four six speed two eight built by Auto Gallery Yokohama and a T fifty one R. It now has just GTSS in a 2.6. Pop the hood! Yeah, let's do that. This car in a cage and a fuck up interior. We did all that. They, they basically, you basically unraced it. We unraced it because yeah. we raced the F33. So yeah. the customer had two cars. And here it is. Look at this. Don't mind the uh, Don't, catch yeah, can. Yeah, it's yet. temporary catch, catch can. We had to put that in there just to start it and drive it around and do stuff. We'll finish that. But look at the detail i mean just so like, this engine was actually in my 33 insane uh it's te it's it's been tested and tuned yeah yeah i'd say we just took it on a couple of hell rides on the roads and it's it, gnarly it is gnarly it is gnarly quick tune on the 34 for old Kane. yeah that was an easy one this so one cool. i really like you got to get a, a far away shot of this one <laughs> this car is so simple we did I'll tell you what we did. We did a new lip. We put the bumper ducts in and painted them. We did the brand new Nismo skirts. And then we did the bay, obviously. So we did those. Didn't touch the interior, but the car's dirty too. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Shop dust. Dusted. It'll get you. Um, Ain't nobody washing cars in this weather. We will inside. God, it's freezing. So this car was stock when it came. And uh, now it's Step 1 VCAM GT34R. Look at this. This is a cool one. We don't love this. We don't have a fabricator, so we leave that up to other people. Yeah, but the turbo is what's important. Powered by HKS. So mm. good. So good. Look at this. I mean, the attention to detail on these cars is insane. Just every single bolt, every single screw, every single clamp, every single everything is just completely fresh, fresh and new. Under the... This engine bay treatment is absolutely, bar none, the best in the business. This has our power steering relocation kit. Uh, well, and when I say ours, I mean HKS's that we copied. And I'm <laughs> going to tell you why we did that, because I'm against knockoffs. I'm against that. HKS sells one intercooler pipe kit that comes with a power steering relocation kit. But this, which needs it more, doesn't include it. You can't buy it separate. And uh, the intercooler pipe <clears> kit it comes with... Doesn't make sense to buy for a single because it's like fourteen hundred dollars and it has a bunch of shit here. Right. So we copy the bracket, which I mean, honestly, it's two little tiny brackets. I think you got enough HKS stuff here to say. It's, yeah. It's and, okay. I'll, and I'll talk to HKS and say we made these because you didn't. And, right. And if you start, and make we'll them. stop. That's it. You know. Yeah. Um. Pretty cool though. I mean, everything looks amazing. This one everywhere. was cool. This thing really picked up some steam in the higher R's. So I've been. Yeah. I I've been. Uh, base tuning getting them set up uh previously before coming up here just getting all the, the base mapping done remotely and then came up here to actually do the final like i don't want to say final tuning but road tuning and taking them out and actually flogging on them let's so, do a sound test for the differences so this i think that's cool What do you think? That sounds more 3.0. 
throaty. You can like, tell, yeah. like you can tell that that one's got a manifold with like equal, more equal length runners. It's got that crack. Yeah, like yeah, so, yep. And then this one's got more of a throat to it because it's got unequal length downpipe. You can tell the twin turbos they do that. And then the crown jewel. It, just look under there. Get <laughs> underneath it. Titanium. Look at the subframe and the. Oh um, yeah! Look at that! Look at everything. God, this thing is just unbelievable in every single spot. That titanium exhaust, though. Oof. So that's the 45th anniversary. They made 22 of them. Special. Three of them are here, but then they redropped it as the Super Turbo and just took the logo. Uh, off. I have one. In, I have one at the shop. Yeah. One of the. the so these are the big group, uh, group A tires, big Brembo, big red kit, 355s, front and rear, Olins, TEs, HGS crate motor, 28, six speed, 2530s. Under the hood. You locked it. Oh, I did. Full Nismo kit, hood lip, bumper dog, side skirts. It doesn't have the trunk lip, actually, I lied. It, it has it. Oh, it does? Yeah, I see it, trunk lip. Look at that. Once again, ignore the catch cam. Beautiful. This one's cool. Yeah, super Let's beautiful. do a sound check on this old one. Yep. This one sounds gnarly. This is the titanium super turbo. That's nice. That titanium sounds so good. This car felt and, solid. Yeah, and, th and this one's got the uh, IC7 dash as well. Oh, yeah. So all these cars are running on yeah, Haltech Elites. You set all that up. So yeah, all, all of these cars are running on Haltech Elites. Um, we've been. We've. That's why I'm here. We're, we're getting all this stuff squared away. Here, see the dash come to life. And like I said, we don't do that for anyone. But Alex is a NASCAR driver, so he gets a dash. Wait, there it is. Oh yeah. So these are really cool dashes. They're completely configurable. Like you said, he doesn't do these usually, but Alex is a freaking race car driver. If so anyone's gonna watch their gauges, it's him. It's him. So we got all the setups. We got all the the controls on board. You can see, you know, everything works as it should. And uh, this is a fantastic. It's an unbelievable setup, this really. This spec build is, is what I wish every customer was. It's the top. But it's so expensive. It's the top. It's so expensive. Yep. So don't call if you don't got a lot of money to do this, but... Don't be interested in this setup. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, stop being Think interested right now. And be uninterested. <laughs> so basically... And then quick tune on this. Would you have to... Yeah, we had to. I mean, you this thing... You have to bow down to the... The 34. Yeah, the legend. This is legendary. We know that. Yeah, the Z-Tune kit. So this car is on 305 squared. People always ask about this. The car is on 305 squared. Has the Z-Tune fenders plus the Nismo flares molded onto the Z original Z-Tune fenders. Z-Tune hood. You can see the carbon These are fade. monster tires. 305s. Yeah. Look, and you can see how the paint The fades. carbon fades in. Into the carbon. So cool Z-Tune bumper. Like this thing is, it's all in. This car wow. ripped pretty good. Yeah, it, it does for what it is. Unbelievable. So good. So anyway, I am in an, on another planet right now on cloud nine, just driving around in these cars and getting them all set up. And uh, I'm super excited. Come back up here again. We're going to be doing more of these. So stay tuned. We're coming up to do more of these. If you're in the Connecticut area, Make sure you hit them up, New York area, this whole tuned, New Donald. England area. Make sure you hit Tommy or me up for the next time I'm up here because I'm going to be tuning a lot more cars up here. Trust me on that. Oh, yeah. And I will see you guys back in Florida. In the warmth. In the warmth. And on the next one. Maybe on the jet ski. <laughs> it snowed. <laughs> it snowed yesterday it here. Snow. <sighs> see ya.